Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about how uh, the latest news out of Mali, and I'm not a fan of the ousted president, Ibrahim Bobakar Kita, or some people say uh, Kaita. I'm not a fan of this former president, but he's been hospitalized, and this was shortly after his imprisonment. And I was very sympathetic to the coup at first because I believe that uh, President Kita, President Ibrahim Bobakar Kita, engaged in a lot of corruption. I believe he was very regionalistic and, and very tribalistic in a lot of his policies that only benefited a certain percentage of Malians. But I'm going to say this now. Since uh, he has been ousted, the military who, the soldiers who overthrew him have, have said a couple of things. They've said they don't think they can re restore um, democracy in Mali anytime soon, particularly after only a year, which is um, inexcusable. And then number two, people, the military government has, um, the military government also, uh, had said they did not mistreat, uh, the, the ousted president, but at the same time, he's, um, been having to get hospitalized shortly after his imprisonment, so I believe there was a lot of lies towards that, uh, so the military government needs to restore a civilian transitional government immediately, like right now. Which is which? What is which? Is what needs to happen? They need to restore it immediately, and then if they can't, then they need to restore President Keita back to office. So this is the latest news out of Mali. It's a mess, and uh, anyway, so if everyone's doing well, take care. Don't want to bye bye.